guys and welcome to a new GTK window uh, tutorial. Today we are going to talk about new functions and we are going to start with GTK window set title. As you probably or better let us first uh, go to its documentation. So GTK window. Okay. Uh, GTK set title says uh, it sets the title of the GTK window. The title of the of a window will be displayed in its title bar. On the X window system, the title bar is rendered by the Windows Manager. So exactly how the title appears on uh, to user may vary according to the user's exact configuration. This means if you create your uh, an, an entry, a desktop entry for your application, then the the story goes different. So the title should help a user distinguish with uh, this window from other windows they may have open. A good title might include the application name and the current document file name, for example. So the parameters are the first one is the GK window and the second one is the title which you give it for your application. Now, uh, before we call this function, let us compile and run the last program which we had. And as you can see now, the GTK window, it is the name of the title which got uh, placed on the title right here. And this happens because we didn't set a default name for the um, for our title. So the GTK just takes the name of your uh, file which you are using it when you compile it as the main title. But if you need to have your own title, then you need to call this function. Uh, let me clean the program now because we don't need these uh, things anymore to not uh, create confu confusion and uh, we are going to call now the GTK uh, set title function and we are going to say GTK window title uh, window sorry and the title should be let us create here something. Uh, let's say G char um, constant char. Okay, that was bad. Char const const and let's say title whatever. And the title should be my app or whatever. It's your decision what title you are giving to your application. Me, I'm going to pass it right here as second argument for the set title function. I'm going to compile it and run it. And uh, yes, what I'm doing here, guys, I need to const const gchar. Now it's now it's fine. Uh, it should be fine. Now it's fine. So many languages, so many styles. Okay, now you see, now we have the name of the title being my app and we change and we decide to have a new name. For getting the title name, let me mark it as uh, done. We have another function which is called GTK window get title. And this function, uh, it is not here, which means they drop it somewhere down here. right here. I found it. Uh, GTK window get title says uh, returns a const gchar and says retrieve the title of the window. See GTK window set title. Returns the title or window or null if none has been set explicitly. What this means we'll see in a moment. Uh, let me call the function the way it is. So I'm going to just um, save it in. Uh, no, I'm not going to save it. G print the title name is percent s and we are going to pass the function right now gtk window the window as its parameter and now i'm going to compile it and run it and as you can see once that we set the name we got it the title name is app now watch what happens if you try to get the name before you set it. Bam! 
the title name is null. You see, there is no title, and don't be don't rely on the fact that if the GTK uh, gives a title name for your application, like the name of your source file uh, as the title name, uh, that it will be also in your application the same name or it will be used the same name. No, it's not. It will just be null because you will have to set it for yourself. So once that you set it with uh, GTK set title, then you can retrieve it. Another good way to, to use this um, uh, to use this function is, for example, if you want to set only one title and maybe you, you want to check if another title was set. For that, uh, if you don't want to change the main title, then you're going to do something like if GTK window get title right here, this one. It's let's say uh, it's equal to null. This I'm going to drop. Okay. Now we are setting basically the title of the window. You see my app, and this is this happened because I checked if it's null. But like I said, if you want to check if the title were already set and if the title was already set and you don't want to make some changes then you just check it uh, not against null just check gtk window get title and then you will see something very important right now you see gtk window the window name doesn't get changed because we decide to to check if gtk window get title uh, it's uh, returns a null or not so this is another way, but as you already notice, this thing happens a little bit strange. If you do that, the name of the application will be the name which will be set based on your source code. So it's a bad idea. Better doing something like this. Null, and then you have it. Okay, good. Now that we are clear with this uh, function, let me mark it as... Uh, done and the next thing which we are going to do is gtk window set hide title bar when maximized okay this function what this function does let's see um, it is right here gtk window set hide title bar when maximized it is a function returns nothing void and takes as you can see two parameters the first one is the window and the g boolean setting which means true or false and says whether the to hide the title when window is maximized if setting is true then the, then the window will request that its title bar should be hidden when maximized this is useful for windows that don't cover any, any information other than the application name in the title bar to put the available screen space to better use and so on okay so note that custom title bars set okay we already saw that now let us call this function and see how exactly it works i'm going to no I, i'm going to let this one for a moment because it's also about the title so the first one is the gtk window i'm going to copy it and the second one i'm going to pass it to true and i'm going to compile it and run it and i'm going to make it to maximize the window bam you see it's somehow like in the full screen you see you see you have no title bar you have no control of this application anymore uh, the way the only thing you if you want to close it is to alt tab and close the console or press your left alt and the middle button of your mouse and then close whatever you see how this works and of course the get hide the other the gate high title bar when maximize it is somewhere down here also or oh, get high of course mm -hmm. right here and says returns whether the window has requested to have its title bar hidden so basically now at some point if you decide later to un to make those changes back just call this function and uh, like i'm doing right now as you can see this function 
takes only one argument so it doesn't care about true or false anymore it just kill it so now when i compile it and run it when i'm going to in full screen uh, when i maximize the window you see uh, nothing's happens and that because it doesn't uh, affect the information about uh, the way you set it so basically now you have uh, the possibility to say to check it for this you are going to work also with an if station if statement like this if uh, let's say it's equal to true then you can get this call again and you say false and now the things are going like this we are we, we were setting the title bar to uh, hide when maximized and then later we decide to check if it is set and if it's set then we are going to uh, set it back to false like its default state this is basically what it does so I'm going to maximize you see nothing happens anymore because even if it was were set uh, very late after that we called GTK uh, window get hide title bar uh, when maximize uh, and we check it against true and because it's true then we set it back to false okay now I'm going to mark it to mark them both also as uh, checked and I think it's enough we are going to come with the next uh, function the next tutorial thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys